Michigan football fans, welcome to Friday Night Varsity Flashback. I'm Rachel George, and we are out at New Hanover for the Wildcats game against Eastern Wayne. We've got plenty of highlights coming up. Of course, Hoggard's home opener. They're playing Jack Britt right now. Ashley's at home against White Oak in a really hard-hitting game. And, of course, the Brunswick County rivalry, West Brunswick at South Brunswick. We'll have all those highlights. But first, let's get started with the highlights from here. New Hanover versus Eastern Wayne. New Hanover took a 21-6 halftime lead thanks in large part to Tevin Mishu. He had 142 yards and two touchdowns before the half, again leading the way for the Wildcats. He came back in the second half after getting iced at halftime, but the New Hanover offense struggled, so the D kept the Wildcats in it. Eastern Wayne's offense struggled all night against a tough Wildcats defense. The Warriors finished the game with negative 25 rushing yards and 96 total yards of offense. New Hanover helped its cause by getting in great field position all night. It had 150 return yards and started only one drive inside its own 40-yard line. After two more Mishu touchdowns in the fourth quarter, the Wildcats go on to win 35 to 12. Puts them at 3-0 for the first time since 1992. We'll head down to Ashley now where the 1-1 Screaming Eagles were playing host to White Oak. These games have been good in recent years with the winner being decided by a total of 11 points in the past three games, all of which White Oak has won. First year coach Jason Tindall hoping to break that streak this season. Screaming Eagle defense was key for Ashley as the players flew to the ball. But White Oak's defense was hitting two, trying hard to handle Ashley's hurry-up offense. Once again, quarterback Zach Finnegan was leading the way for Ashley, running the offense with his legs and his arm. He finished with 124 total yards. But Ashley still couldn't find the end zone and settled with a field goal. The Vikings pulled away with a 54-yard run that set up a quarterback sneak for a touchdown and a 6-3 lead. White Oak went on to score again and route to a 12-3 win. The Screaming Eagles take their 1-2 record into a matchup with Topsell next week. We'll head down to South Brunswick now where the Cougars had a rivalry game against West Brunswick. Both teams are coming off losses and standout Alfie Hill was looking to lead his Trojans to the first win of the season. West Brunswick opened up its playbook, finding room on the outside, both running and passing. Hill leading the defense, as usual, and helping contain the South Brunswick running game. The two teams will meet in a couple weeks in a Waccamaw Conference matchup and got a peek into what that game might be like with a non-conference contest this week. The Trojans would prove to be too much, winning 16-0 to improve to 1-1. South Brunswick, meanwhile, fell to 1-2. and two. Finally, we'll head over to Hoggard for the Vikings' home opener. Hoggard had its hands full with Fayetteville Jack Britt, which jumped to an early 21-0 lead in the first quarter. But the fans remained supportive as Coach Scott Braswell grew more upset with his players. One of the Vikings' best players, running back Rashad McDonald, watched the second half. Hoggard lost his quarterback in the game as well as Michael Aiken separated his shoulder and will be out four to six weeks. Javon Jenright provided some positives for the Vikings, picking up yards late in the game. He led Hoggard with 57 yards. But Hoggard fell to Britt 42-6, losing its first regular season home game in 18 contests since falling to White Oak in 2004. Now let's take a look at the other scores from around the area. White Oak topped Ashley 12-3. Princeton beat Dixon 55-6. East Bladen shut out James Keenan, 25-0. Jacksonville Northside beat Jacksonville, 37-14. Jack Britt beat Hoggard, 42-6. Harrells topped Kip Pride, 40-12. Havelock topped Laney, 42-10. New Hanover beat Eastern Wayne, 35-12. Pender came back to beat East Columbus, 26-13. West Brunswick topped South Brunswick, 16-0. Loris, South Carolina came back to beat South Columbus, 29-25. North Duplin fell to Union 30 to 6. 
Wallace Rose Hill topped Southern Wayne 49-6. West Bladen beat Fairmont 35-28. Trask earned a road win at North Brunswick 41-17. And Rose topped South Central 13-0. Well, that's it for us this week. Be sure to check back next week as we have Friday Night Varsity Preview looking ahead at the Week 4 games. But for Friday Night Varsity Flashback, I'm Rachel George.